Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, The Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. Hello, and welcome to the Moving the Needle podcast, where we ask, what moves you? Excellent or bogus? Did anyone do the right thing? Do you mess with the Zohan? With me tonight to discuss do the right thing, Rocky versus Creed, childhood guilty pleasures, a test of time, you don't mess with the Zohan, once upon a time in Hollywood. With me tonight is Stephanie. Hello. Roy. Hello. And Hanno. Yo, we want to thank you for listening on iTunes. We're also available on Spotify. Just about everywhere you can find podcasts, we are. So come on now, Google Let Play. Let us know. Email us at mtnpodcast at gmail.com or, or on facebook.com slash mtnpod. Twitter and tweet us at mtnpod. There's so many ways to find us. To the podcast from Temperance Town, the sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin, swaps it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with a pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's on Campubis, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian pisses rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget Have a beer, you'll be fine Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Salty. Hey, enthusiast, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 465. Hey, sexiest podcast on the network. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, once again, uh, Tony's, you know, uh, out braving a uh, jungle safari while recording. Yeah, and... I'm, I'm coming live from the bird sanctuary. <laughs> I don't know if it's a sanctuary. One gets close enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, I, I, I guess, you know, happy 4th of July weekend to everybody listening. Right. You know, it's over already, but still, you know. I hope everyone has all their fingers that they started the weekend <laughs> off with. <laughs> yeah, me too, unless you can get some cool replacement ones, like some robot ones or whatever. Yeah, that that'd be that would be cool. Like, yeah. at least a claw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, Not... like the... Uh... 
the commandant from um, Malcolm in the Middle, you know? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, hook hands would be great. Yeah, right? So, like, hey. Because if you're, well, it's Go like ahead. if you remember from Malcolm, he had, like, different attachments. Yeah, you know? right. So if you wanted to have a cigar, he had a, you know. He was like, um, oh, crap, I can't think of his name now. That one He-Man guy that had, like, different attachments for his hand. Oh, I can't remember. Um, oh, Dildor. Yes, probably. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Or is that a wizard from Harry Potter? I don't I know. Think, I think it's both somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Dildor. <laughs> Yikes. Wasn't he the head of the school? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be cool. That's like you, you go back to work on Monday and you're like, hey Tony, how was your weekend? And you're just like, you're like awesome, and you're you know just have hook hands. Be like, it's really tough to adjust my mask though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you go in and you've got like an eye patch, and they're like, how'd you get the eye patch? And that's when you pull up the the hook hands. I know, <laughs> the hook hands. I know that's a gag from something. Do you remember what it is? I feel like oh, it's God. or it's an it old is. joke or something like, like that. I, I think it's like an old street joke. Yeah, that sounds right. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like how'd you get the how'd you get the iPad? <laughs> you just hold up the hook hands and you're like, oh Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember what the hell it is yeah, though. Yeah, I know it's something like that. Anyway. We're full of knowledge here at this podcast. Sure. Probably Maybe. Not. So I have a uh, kind of funny follow up from last week. You know, we discussed it. Uh-oh. At length, how, um, you know, Cable, the comic book character, how his his eye looks like, you know, an asshole. Um, Indeed. So, like, a day or two after we did the podcast, I saw somebody on Twitter post something about how the skin that makes our eyelids is basically the same as the skin in our anus. Well, that explains and everything. I laughed so hard because it just immediately, you know, was like, <laughs> you know, what? <laughs> We were onto something there. <laughs> like, yeah, that explains everything. We thought they were just terrible scientists or doctors. <laughs> Meanwhile, they weren't. They were just telling the truth. Yep. Literally, exactly. we have this amount of skin, and you get one or the other. So, there you go. Yeah, cho- choose wisely. <laughs> I, I don't know if he did or not. I guess we'd have to see his his, uh, his artist to to find out. And I'm not really lining up for that. So. Maybe, you know, maybe they did the old switcheroo and his yeah. arse has eyelashes. <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> They're like, okay, here's, we got good news and bad news. Like, you got an eye. And he's like, okay, that's good. You know, or eyelid. You know, he's like, awesome, great. Like, but the eyelashes we accidentally put on your asshole. Yeah, we, we switched, uh, we grabbed from the wrong tray. Yeah, <laughs> whoopsies. <laughs> Whoops, whoops-a-daisy. Yeah. And as is, uh, you can see right here, you signed off on the whoopsies clause, so we can't really <laughs> yeah. fix that for you. So, well, did you really expect me to read this 20-page clause? <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess you should have. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is how you have asshole eyelashes. <laughs> Or yeah, exactly. ass, ass lashes? I I don't even know what the term for them are. Like, I think it's probably ass, ass lashes. lashes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that could be the name of the show. Probably not, but I like it. <laughs> well, we'll write her down. We'll see how it goes. Um, because you know maybe I can sneak it in as one of those uh, all one word titles as I've done a few times in the past. Oh, fair enough. Because butt lashes just doesn't have the same ring no. to it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. It sounds a little like BDSM even. It might know? be. It might be. That's fine. If yeah. it draws that crowd, we're okay with them too. Welcome. Thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I don't know how you shove the earbuds into your zipper mask, but. That's that's for them to figure out, not us. That's for them. Do you think there's Bluetooth zipper masks? I mean, I, it would make sense, right? Like built in or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah technology is here. Sure. I mean, there's no sense of being, you know, uncomfortable, you know, while you're in the thing. I mean, when you're in, you know, you put on your zipper suit and get in a deprivation tank, you know? Yeah, exactly. You might, you might as well have your sweet, sweet podcast going. Sure. What oh, the oh, hell? I, so. I think I'm under attack. <laughs> oh, I mean, God. it's still daylight out, so you might as well start shooting off fireworks. Sure, that's the best time to shoot fireworks. <sighs> <laughs> Fuck. 
fucking people. I don't know about you. It sounded like a goddamn war zone here last night. Yeah, it did over here, too. Yeah. Like I saw somebody online that was like, what the fuck? Was it like buy one, get 56,000 free this year? <laughs> I was like, sure seems like I it. Cause, I mean, I, I knew it was going to be bad. Mm-hmm. You know, just because all the events were canceled, basically. Yeah. You know, so. I got to say, it was kind of nice getting on social media, not seeing everyone and their mother posting fireworks. Oh, yeah. Ooh, uh, what am I going to do? Watch your 18 Facebook videos of fireworks going off and still not care. like i don't even like watching that many in person like i'm not kidding i'm very much one of those people that at a fireworks display about halfway through it i'm more like i'm pulling out the Chappelle show like uh uh wrap it up sign <laughs> you know like yeah, right i'm like all right we've been here an hour let's let's get this over with like i'm i'm i don't know i i just have a limited attention span for it you know um, even as a kid, I was like that. It's like, honestly, at least with sparklers, they're interactive. You know, at oh, least yeah, you're, you're dinking around, running around the yard, trying to set yourself on fire or something, you know? I mean, a- every firework could be interactive if you're brave enough. Well, it's true, but when you're a little kid, most people won't put the others directly in your hands. That's true. That's you know, true. they're like, here's all the snap pops and sparklers you could want, you know? I mean, you're you're not wrong because basically yeah. people give toddlers like sparklers that just turn into like red hot irons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty funny yeah, when you think about it. I mean, you know, I always kind of figure maybe it's maybe it's Darwinism. You know. Yeah, maybe. I yeah. doubt it. It's just like, you know, hey, everybody's got to celebrate America, so you know. I mean, America. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you know, normally it would be uh, on Fourth of July. It would be like, oh, let's go somewhere with eight thousand other people, and yeah, we you know, watched a big fireworks, but obviously didn't do that this year. And I can't say I missed it. Yeah, I didn't. You know? Like I said, I didn't miss. Like usually, what I do is on the fifth or late on the fourth into the fifth, I just skip Instagram and you know any any sort of like you know snapchat those kind of social medias because basically they're all going to be just hey look here's 50 you know like you said 50 stories of the fireworks display it's like okay we all know what fireworks are like yeah it's like ooh, like what are you sharing Uh, all these yeah i mean unless it's like the videos of the world's largest shell i'm in that you know like i'll watch that right I mean, you know, if, I mean, listen, if you're if you're going to a Viking funeral, please send me all the Snapchat stories from that because I want to see that. Yes. But from yeah. a fireworks display that basically everybody else gets the same fireworks display, it's like, eh, nah, we're good. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to watch your Instagram story that's got 18 different little segments and each one is just a different part oh. of one of those little, like, pucks that turn into snakes going off. <laughs> Oh, man, I forgot about those shitty things. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. I remember you know, as a kid, uh, though, your, you were... Your basic, your, your grocery store fireworks display. Yeah. Like, as a kid, though, you you know, those were hot, were cool for, like, a hot minute, and then you're like, oh, that's it? Like, it doesn't even explode yeah. at the end or something, you know? Like, yeah, it's like, at least give me that, that like, jet-propelled tank that shoots sparks out of the front and <laughs> sets itself on fire, basically. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's pretty cool. That is, yeah. That will, even now, I'd, I'd be like, hey, that's all right. You know, yeah, get, you know, give me some smoke bombs that if they don't, if the smoke isn't the color of the smoke bomb, I am disappointed. Though. <laughs> right. Like no. if, it's a, if it's a red smoke bomb and it's white smoke, I feel like I've been ripped off. I, yeah. Cause well, also it's kind of like, why isn't this red? Like, it feels like it yeah. should be red. Just like, how is this color because, red and not red? Like, yeah. Like magnets, how do they even work? You know? I know. Right. Uh, I mean, I think we briefly thought about getting some fireworks because we we got some last year, and yeah. you know, not nothing like you know, not enough like mortar tubes and shit like that. But right. you know, because Leah came over and we shot off some stuff, we had a good time. But yeah, you know, like Michelle was like, maybe we should get some fire. I'm like, no, let's like, trust me, we're in a neighborhood now that there's going to be plenty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No oh boy, was there? Yeah. Well, that like my biggest fear around here too is that I mean we haven't had rain in like what? oh it's been dry as a mug yeah you know it's like all these trees got to be dry around here it's like I'd rather not have people firing off things that could set trees on fire or houses or you know like 
I'd prefer people yeah. just, you know, go a little easier on it, but nope. No, everyone went hard in the paint this year, man. Yeah. So, ah, well, what can you do, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm just glad, like, obviously our, our dogs are not a fan, mm-hmm. but they're not, but they're not the, the kind of dogs that, like, curl up under the bed and, you know. Yeah. Well, that's or hide in a bathtub or anything. Right. Like that. Yeah, that's good. At least, yeah, my cat doesn't seem to be bothered that much. Like, really loud ones bother her, you know. But even then, she doesn't really go and hide from them. She might kind of, you know, try to stick near us. Yeah. But it, she's not too bad about it. So at least there's that, you know. The worst part up here is that people don't, you know, they don't respect like what time it is. Like they were still shooting them off at like two thirty in the morning last night yeah you know and like me i don't give a shit you know i'm awake but it's like there's a lot of people in here there's a lot of older people in this kind of neighborhood it's like there's a lot of people probably trying to sleep right now you know it's like you know and especially if you're shooting these off if people are asleep and they do have the animals the animals could be freaking out with no no humans to try to calm them down you know it's like come on like like let's be a little considerate (laughs) That's something, I, not with the fireworks, that's something I feel bad about every morning, because I, I usually get up before work, if I can. Yeah. Depends depends on how I'm feeling my arm goes off. <laughs> right. But I'll I'll take Bomber for a walk, you know? And yeah. there's a couple houses, they've got, like, low living room windows. Yeah. And it's, like, you know, quarter after five in the morning, and you just hear, <laughs> these dogs going oh, fucking God. bananas. In these <laughs> oh, because they see Bomber? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I always feel bad, but I'm like, well, you know, maybe shut your curtains. Get a be- yeah, <laughs> get a better dog. I don't tell you. Yeah, that's got to suck for sure. Because you, you just picture the night before that somebody's like, "Man, I can finally sleep in," you know, tomorrow, and you know they're laying in bed all you know cozy and everything, and then four forty-five and rah, 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 rah. Yeah, exactly <laughs> putting nose prints already inside of the window again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. What are you going to do, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm hoping the fireworks go a little easy. I mean, they got to go easier tonight. I'm sure a lot of people blew their load yesterday. I hope so. I mean, man, it's been like two weeks. last night. Yeah. It's been about two weeks up here. I thought it was like (laughs) D-Day. Yeah. It was pretty ridiculous for a while. Like from about... 8.30 8.30-ish to about 12.30, 1 o'clock. It was pretty strong. And then it started right. dying off. But it was still going, like I said, till like about 2.30. And then I didn't hear any more. So. Well, that's good, at least. Yeah. You know. It's like, gee, many Christmas. But, what can, know, right? you know, what are you going to do? It's You can't, you know, you call, call the cops on them. They don't know where they're coming from. They can't really come out and do a whole lot about it. So. <sighs> There's yeah. not much they can do on the fourth because no. everyone's doing it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's not really – it's not even I worth mean, it. If it was like October 10th, someone's at <laughs> 2 in the morning shooting off fireworks, then there's there's yeah. a reason to call somebody. Right. Or if you knew exactly where it was coming from. But most of the time it ends up just being like around here. It's like I just see them being shot off, but I don't actually see them, you know, the people who are doing it. So, you know. Odds are up here there's a school – not too far from oh. here. It wouldn't shock me if a lot of them were being shot off in the um, like the parking lot or the soccer field that's next to the school. Oh, yeah, for sure. But there's also a lot of, um, what do you call them? Uh, uh, I can't think what it's called. Where they're building Meth like. Dance? No, no, no. Where they're building like the whole new communities up here. Oh, like construction. Or yeah. Whatever. So, you know, there's a lot of that kind of area. So where people live in those and stuff. So it's, you know, the developments and stuff. So, you know, there's a lot of like nooks and crannies up here that it'd be really tough probably to find where they're coming from. So it's, oh, for sure. I mean, there's so, so like in my neighborhood, there's so many people packed in this neighborhood. Yeah, it's like, exactly. That like literally, unless you're standing in the street and you di- directly watch one get shot up, you know, it's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. I, mean, not I think worth it was. It. Uh, Plus, I'm not Friday night. I'm not narking huh? people anyway, unless it looks like they're doing something nah. dangerous. You know. Yeah, if they're like, like shooting mortars at houses. Yeah, or something. yeah, or even bottle rockets. If you're shooting them at houses or something, it's like, uh, this is no bueno. Like, we just have a volunteer fire department up here, so uh, it's not very big. I mean, luckily where yes. I live, Toledo is right down the street, and they do send people up here to help. But you know, it's still. 
no good. Right. No good. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, I think it was Friday night. We went for like a late night Jeep ride. Yeah. And it was just like going through the neighborhood. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't even the fourth yet. It was just like, yeah. it was just crazy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's about how it's yeah, been so. through here for the last week, two weeks. Like every night they're, they're being shot off. So, yeah. Like I said, what can you, you know, there's not much we can do. Yeah. I'm just hoping uh, it you know, dies off a little bit tonight. Cause one, I got to get up early again. Cause Monday's back. God damn it. Right. But two, I'm just kind of sick of it. Yeah. That's actually my thing is like, I'm, I'm just kind of tired of hearing them. Yeah, exactly. At this point, you know, it's like, all right, we get it, you know. Yeah, woohoo, we like explosions yeah. and shit. My real question would be like, you know, couldn't you use like couldn't you use that money better? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, right? Like donate it to the Salty Language Podcast. Sure. That'd be a great use yeah. of it. Yeah. It would be. Ugh. Ah, so how how's your I mean, week been otherwise? Yeah, it's been all right. I mean, did, did, well, did you do anything on the fourth? You just kind of hang out the house. Nah, I was honestly because of like the humidity that came in with the heat that we already had. I was miserable yesterday with a sinus headache all day, so I was pretty much just in bed most of the day. So, ah, fair enough. Yeah, <clears throat> I was like my uh, my sister texted me. I think it was Friday. They're like they decided to do a last minute like fish fry. Uh huh. So we ended up going out there and hanging out for a few hours. And Michelle's parents had a, like a barbecue, so we popped by there. And yeah, and we do. We, yeah, it wasn't. I mean, made the most of the Fourth of July, but it wasn't like uh, you know, wasn't like it would normally be in the past. Yeah, right. Well, that's you know, you know that that exactly. It's you know, I don't. I, I haven't really done much on the Fourth for a long time anyway. Because like I said, I'm not a fireworks person. So it's like you know, a lot of people around here would head downtown for the fireworks, you know, and I'm like, yeah, you know, like it just, uh. plus it's usually hot. I don't want to oh, yeah. sit outside and watch something. I don't have a lot of interest in anyway, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, nah, I'm good. But if, you know, like if some, like if, you know, if things were normal and you were like, Hey, you want to come over? We're going to just, you know, have yeah, some, we're, whatever. We're cook out and yeah. Bullshit and whatever something like else. that. Yeah. I would have been down for that, but you know, otherwise I'm just I, I like, mean, eh. Honestly, that's what I want to do, but Again, we're, we're not ready yet. Yeah. Well, also, it's really, you know, we're still at that point where it's still not a great idea well, to do this. Well, stuff, yeah. You know? Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, not, okay. I thought you meant you yeah. just weren't set up for it yet, but. Oh, no. I could definitely have people over. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, you I don't, don't really have outdoor furniture yet, but, I mean, we can figure it out. Yeah, you, you know, that's, that's what you ask people to bring, you know. <laughs> yeah, bring your, own, bring your own camping chairs. Yeah, or something to sit on, a cooler or whatever, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like, otherwise, I got. It's full beer. Yeah, it's like I got I got plenty of grass. That's about it. Yeah, just watch the, you know, meatloaf that well, dogs leave out there. That's, that's the risk you run by not bringing a chair. <laughs> that is the risk you run. <laughs> Uh, man. Yeah, and that was all right though. I mean, you know, the fish fry was cool because mm-hmm. I, I like fish. I haven't had it in a while, and you know, and they're like, I when we got there, there were Jesus cicadas yeah. already. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, summer's so over. I, <laughs> yep. I know that, that is the typical like noise of summer being done. Yep, tomorrow September. So <laughs> I guess. Um, Not this year. It won't be. But yeah, no, you know, they had like the old like propane kettle outside and they're frying it up right in the garage. And mm. I was like, ah, yeah, that's fucking dope right here. They got a pool. I forgot about that. Yeah. Like, I'm like, man, I wish we would have brought my swim trunks. I would have been swimming in the pool. You should just went nude, you know? <laughs> Nobody. Take this, Brian's family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not my family. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, my brother in law. <laughs> yeah. I mean, either way, if you want to show up at my family's gatherings and, and go nude as long as i'm not there i'm great i'm fine with it <laughs> fair enough you know i'm not i'm not but, here to hurt your time you know <laughs> <laughs> that's fine you should though yeah and uh yeah you know yeah the, 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 the gathering at our parents is good too just just hanging out it was it was kind of nice to hang out with people because it's not something you really do anymore yeah true exactly you it, know it does it, it always feels so strange you know yeah like you know yeah, exactly you know this i'm not going to go into full details here but it's like you know this week um i don't remember what day that was do you remember what day it was at the i i with my mom 
Mm, oh, um, Thursday, maybe? Maybe it was Friday? No, it was Wednesday. You know, it. I know. Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. Well, it was Wednesday or Thursday. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. But so we, you know, my mom's been feeling kind of off. And um, she'd been taking her blood pressure, and it was showing low. And her she called her doctor's office, and they were like, hey, you know, go to an urgent care, you know, and, and have them see what's going on. So we go, and, dude, there is no urgent care that, like, took my mom's insurance close. Like, sorry for the local reference people, but, dude, we had to go out to King and Central. That's out there a ways. Yeah. I mean, it's not horrible, but that's a good, what, half hour, 20, 20 minute, half hour drive from here, you know? Yeah. And it's like, geez. Um, so, you know, we get out there and, uh, you know, luckily it, it, the one thing that was cool was that there was like no wait. Uh, we no more and sat down in the waiting room and a girl or not the girl, a uh, nurse came out and was like, Hey, you know, come on back. And we're like, Oh, wow. And, you know, my mom wanted me to go with her to, you know, make sure so I could hear what they were saying and stuff, you know, in case there was something. like, sorry, mom, I got to walk to City Q barbecue. You're on your own. (laughs) I'm not going to lie. I was hungry heading out there. And as we were getting close, I was scouting around because I was thinking I wasn't going in because I didn't think they'd let anyone else go in because of the Rona. You know, Mm -hmm. I figured they'd only let the person who needs to go in go in. And or if I could go in, I could only like sit in the waiting room or whatever. So I'm yeah. I'm like scouting around because I'm like, is there anywhere? Even though it's like a thousand degrees outside, is there anywhere maybe I can walk, or we could just drive to real quick, grab some eats? You know, jeez, all right, enough with that, damn. So, uh, you know, and but there really wasn't right where it is. There's nothing right there. Like there's, yeah, I know. Ex- it's exactly what it is. Right. Jamie's uh, parents don't live too far. Yes, from there. exactly. I yeah. actually explained that to my mom. I was like, "Yeah, we're almost to Jeannie's parents' house." <laughs> yeah. But um. Anyway, so you know, we're in there for a while and whatever. What was strange was like walking into the area, like you know, where they have the exam rooms and stuff. One thing that was right. cool is they have glass doors, like they can shut the rooms completely off. Which makes you feel a little nicer, you know, like you feel safer from the Rona there, but uh, even though it isn't necessarily. But um, the part that sucked about it is there wasn't a lot of air moving in the room. So when they shut that door, it started getting stuffy real fast. So your boy was starting to look like Clayface when he couldn't control himself, you know, (laughs) I'm just melting. So, uh, right. But anyway, you know, it turns out it was no big deal. Uh, seems like, you know, things are, you know, should be okay and everything. So, but we were there for, That's good. you know, a few hours because, you know, it's just how it is. That's part a, of it, yeah, it is what it is. Well, part of it was they wanted to keep her there while a monitor her blood pressure, you know. So, and, uh, you know, so I'm just sitting there. And at one point, they, you know, my mom asked for um, a, a, if they could get her like a cup for water or something. And they've pivoted from that to where they don't do cups because you'd have you'd keep going over to the faucet, which means potential for continuous contamination or whatever. Mm-hmm. So they just bring you like a small, you know, a small bottle of water and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, at least they're not like, oh, sorry, or you know, oh, there's a yeah, vending oh, machine over there. You know, yeah, you get to go thirsty. You know, yeah. they just have spray bottles. Open it for mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that'd be a nightmare. Remember that. Uh, that church that did that with the holy water and got everyone sick. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, but no, but on the way in, I saw some vending machines, so I expected them to be like, "Oh, there's a vending machine right down there." Yeah, you know? I, I hope you brought some ones because we got the sani in there. Luckily, I did have some ones. Normally, that would have been right out, you know. But well, I mean, since Rona, we can't take those ones at a strip club anymore. I know, so. right? Jeez. Well, there's yeah. apparently a shortage on small bills and change all over now. Because fucking assholes are hoarding, and yeah, anyway. Yeah. But on the uh, the you other hand, suck, of that Brian. was like, I was like, well, if they don't have anything here, there's a Rite Aid directly across the street. You know, I'll just run over there and get her, a, you know, some water or something, you know. But I knew they'd have water. It's just a matter of how, you know, because I didn't expect them to have cups because of, you know, the Rona. The Rona, yeah. So, but you know that was that was nice and everything. It was cool because they asked me if I wanted anything too, and you know I'm sure it was on the bill. But you know, 
<laughs> yeah. But it was so still. You guys, got any, you guys got any good IPAs? Yeah, right. I should have. I didn't even think to ask that. Damn. And whiskeys? <laughs> no? All right. What do you have on tap? Yeah. <laughs> what's, your, what's your well liquor? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I ran into, actually? Uh, yeah, it was. Was it yesterday? I don't know. This whole week's a blur. Yeah. Is there's the one pro- downside of being a, a, a beer kind of sewer, Brian? Yeah. Is we uh, uh, we went out because it was like ten something at night. We're like we're we're starving. Yeah, Taco Bell. Gotcha. It was it, yeah. it, it was not last night because that was the Fourth of July and we just passed out basically. Yeah. So it had been the night before, and uh, we ended up driving all over, like looking for a patio we could sit on. Yeah. Which you is know, tough we that to, late because a lot of places are closing earlier now. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we went to – I'm going local here, people again. I'm sorry. So, we went to Bar 145, mm-hmm. went in, sat on their patio. It got completely ignored by everybody. So, I was like, fuck this. We out. Yep. You know? Mm-hmm. Then, when, then Michelle's like, well, how about that pizza place in Sylvania? I'm like, oh, yeah. So, we go there, closed. Although, according to Google Maps, they were going to be open, closed because mm-hmm. it was July 3rd. Oh, okay. That's why. So I was like, oh, inside the fives right here. Walk over there. Kitchen closes in five minutes. <laughs> like, God damn it. So we end up going to Frickers. Right? I mean, it inside the five, maybe you could have, you know. No, I'm, not, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it. No, I know. I know. That's what I was yeah, like. Well, you know. It's like I saw under hours. Like, kitchen closes an hour before the place closes. Yeah. I'm like, we're not doing this. That's the thing. Yeah. As, much, it... as much as I want to. Right. We can't do that to them. Nah, nah. Yeah, because if somebody you knew was, was working, they would have probably hooked you up. But it was like, nah, nah, nah I don't. You know, these people want to yeah, go home. Exactly. Yeah. So we went to Frickers. And I'm like, hey, you know, because we sat outside. They didn't bring a beer with us. They hand you paper menus when you walk in. Yeah. You know, just disposable menus. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, well, I'm like, I know you guys got a ton of things on tap. She's like, well, what, what sort of beer do you like? I'm like, I, I like all of it. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's like, okay, well, we got like Bud, Bud Light, Coors, and I had to go like, well, what's your IPAs? Yeah, like, what's your not domestic yeah. beers? Like, yeah, like I'm not in college yeah. now. Talk to me about beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 so I want to. So I ordered an IPA, and she comes on. She's like, "I'm sorry, we're out of that one." I'm like, "Okay, just give me a fake juice." Yeah, you know, mommy, little mommy, delicious. Bay local. Yep. Mm-hmm. She and she brings it out, and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, "That's not fake juice." I could tell by the color. Right. Yeah, because it it's a pretty then, distinct looking beer. Yeah, and I tell by it, then I taste it. I'm like, "This is not fake juice." Mm-hmm. But I I'm guessing looking at the build, I think they gave it to me for free because they were out of my other beer that I ordered. Ah, okay. So whatever. So it was free it juice. It still tasted good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Free juice. Yeah. Free juice. Yeah. The best kind of beer, yeah, right? That, free and cold. But yeah, that was one of those things that I'm like, and and then, you know, because I'm the, that beer nerd, I'm like, well, I can't check this in and untapped. I don't know what it is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and if I ask, they're going to be like, well, it's fake juice. And I'll be like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Like you, I can you walk to you. This is not fake juice. You walk me to that tap and prove it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You wrong. <laughs> but I mean, it was weird going to the Frickers. Like uh, they have the restaurant divided up of like Dexter kill sheets. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, but it was so late that there was no one on the patio, so we see we just went out there, and it actually it was kind of nice to go somewhere like that. It's been that, a while. That actually is ideal to me. You know, it's like that way you get. Hey, we get to go out, but also there's no other assholes here. <laughs> that know? was pretty much it. Yeah. And then come to find out, I don't know if you've been to the Frickers in Sylvania. Uh, he must be the manager. There's some guy there that's covered in tattoos. Any time I've ever been there, he's he's there. I'm assuming he must be a manager. Yeah. And he was like, uh, he's like, man, he's like, uh, hey, thanks for being patient with us. He, you know, he, Apparently they they were out of power basically all day because the transformer blew up. But their home oh. office is like, yeah, why don't you guys just hang out just oh, in case? Jesus, dude, I yeah, he, we, uh. yeah. He's like, no, no air conditioning. It was uh. getting pretty stuffy in here. Fuck no, <laughs> that's garbage, yeah. man. It's like, what are they supposed I to know. do? You're supposed to just sit there and hope the power comes back on. That that's apparently what he said they wanted him to do. I mean, if they're paying you, I guess there's that. But it's still the idea that it's like. Well, what are we supposed to do? Like, he can't yeah. serve food. 
cancer. No, exactly. Really anything. You can't do, you know, because you, you have no till system. Unless you're going to pull, like, yeah. that bullshit that family video pulled on me when our power went out the one time. When they were like, oh, just write everything down. Oh, what a fucking oh, God, yeah, nightmare that, that was. Yeah. And then you had to type in everything by hand afterward. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that was that was uh, bullshit. And just assume everyone's going to bring their stuff back. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if no one brought any of their crap back on days like that, I wouldn't have been mad at all. No, because it's like good, good fucking serves you right. Well, they the thing is, a customer at that point could have been like, I wasn't even here because family video. Yeah. They well, they wouldn't have had cameras that, anyway because power was out. But even with you know, yeah. they don't have cameras and well, didn't I don't know if they do now, but they, you know, so it was like you have no proof, literally no proof. There was no signature, no nothing that yeah. you know ties the person to that rental. You know, you could just make the claims all you want, and they could be like, I wasn't even there, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, like when they, you know, when I called the DM and she was like, oh, no, you know, we stay open, Bubba, because I'm thinking send everybody home, lock the doors, you know, pretty much. Or maybe, yeah, absolutely. you know, maybe you stick around for, you know, half an hour or an hour or something, just see if it comes back on. And if not, hey, sorry, we're closed. Yeah. Know? Deuces, we out. Nope. <laughs> no, keep that bitch open. God forbid we miss out on any money. Oh, God. Got to keep that, that family video private jet filled up. <laughs> That was so stupid. I'm, I wonder how many years ago they sold that jet. Yeah, yeah, because there's no way they still own it. Oh, God, no. Not when they're selling CBD shit inside their stores now. Yeah, what a fucking joke. Yeah. In fact, they advertise their CBD yeah. more than they do the movies now. Like, if you look at, at their signs most of the time, it talks about CBD products more than it talks oh, about okay. what movies are out. I mean, basically, all the family videos that were around me are are now Dollar Generals, so I don't really. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, you know, whatever. Anywho, but, yeah. yeah. So later that night, that you know, I was at the urgent care. Oh yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened. Whether uh, whether something just didn't set right in my my tummy, or I got a touch of some food poisoning. But boy, uh, your your boy was in bad shape for most of the night, like. And you know how I am. Like, if I feel like I'm going to get sick, usually it's coming, you know? It's true. It's true. Somehow it didn't. But, boy, oh, boy, my tummy was was a not happy all night. And uh, yeah, That sounds like a disaster. I, that's how I would describe it without getting too graphic. And, <laughs> you know, that's it was. Fair. Yeah. So I was like, boy, this was a hell of a day, <laughs> you know, sitting there worried about my mom for hours and then, you know. Also, now it could just be that maybe it was just a nerves thing, you know, maybe from, yeah, I mean, that shit happens, you know, you know? <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, you know, the next day I woke up, my tummy was still a little, little like, eh, let's go easy today. You know, like don't, don't be eating so anything crazy. Yeah. Nothing crazy eats today. And you know, so it could be like me yesterday Oof. when I basically spent half the day just drinking coffee and drinking beer and then get to my sister's house and go, you know, I haven't eaten yet. And then I <laughs> overate like a fucking animal. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, it's, it's weird. <sighs> Speaking of eating or overeating, I should say I'm noticing, and I've had this for a while, but I'm noticing like when I first get up, I feel like I could eat everything. Right. You know? And I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe it should just try to curiosity. Well, that's, you know, that's kind of what I've been doing is it's like when I wake up, I mean, I'm like, you know, super hungry. So I'm like, whatever. And I'll just, oh, mom, 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 or, you know, cause I know I'm going to be up for a while, you know? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and then, <laughs> oh, geez. and then, you know, I figure I'll go kind of easy the rest of the day, you know, cause I don't want to overeat the whole day, you know, but it's this, or do you? Or do I? No, I don't, because I, I, <laughs> I was trying to lose weight, and I've kind of hit where I, I stopped that. I think I gained most of it back. So, you know, and like I told you, a lot of it was because it's been so hot. We don't want to cook because it's hot. Yeah, you know? I get it. And, like, barely turning the oven on, it's like then the whole house is, like, 90 degrees. You know, it's it's awful. So, you yeah. know, I, I, however, have been using the air fryer, like I told you. <laughs> Busted out some Parmesan crusted pork chops in the air fryer, which were legit juicy as fuck. Like when I pulled them out, I'm like, these can't be done because when I touched them, they were soft, kind of like spongy. But when I cut into it, I was like, or it's perfect. 
So yeah. I was like, awesome. And man, just cut into it, just juices just pour out of it. I was like, all right, I see you. Where, you know, were they were they wearing their Victoria's Secret juicy <laughs> sweat sweatpants? Yes, yes. But you know that was stupid easy. Just you know, throw a couple ingredients in a bag, shook a shook a, and uh, you know, basically shake it's and bake them. Shake and bake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Dude, put them put them in the air fryer for like ten minutes. Done. So nice, nice. Yeah, and I told you, I, you know, had some fresh green beans and some sweet taters, and uh, you know, it was, it was nice. And like it's I told a, it you, sounds like a legit ass meal. Man. Yeah, you know, and it was nice because it was you know able to you know legit cook a little bit again. And know that right. what I was eating wasn't, you know, Jesus Christ, bomber. <laughs> wasn't my dog's trying to or squeeze in by my leg because you know people are shooting. Maybe she doesn't like it when she's outside. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that would make sense, right? Yeah. Oh man. Um. But yeah, it was nice to yeah, kind of feel I, like that again. And you know, and like I told you, or, like I had made a salad earlier, so I crushed some salad, had that, and I right. was like, yeah, there we go. That's you know, so been trying to kind of move myself more back that way you know yeah i'm uh, i'm afraid of what the scale says i haven't stepped on in a while and i've been eating like a fucking sal- <laughs> el savijo lately <laughs> right i mean like today uh you know it's hot out yep and uh michelle discovered that ben and jerry's makes uh, dairy-free ice cream oh do they because she because she yeah, can't do dairy right, yeah, it's, right. it's made of it's made of almond milk oh okay cool so, oh, excuse me, that was gross. So she picked up a pint of that, and I'm sitting there looking at the stuff, and I was like, "Have you ever had oat milk?" Yes, I have some in my fr- yeah. refrigerator right now. Actually, it's it's pretty good, actually. Yeah, they, they, there's a there's a company that makes oat milk ice cream, right? Oh yeah, I've seen I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had it, but I've seen it. Well, I was looking at it, and I was like, "Oh shit, oat milk ice cream!" And I'm like, "This is peanut butter and raspberry." I'm like, this is going to taste like a peanut butter jelly sandwich, and it fucking does. Oh, I bet it does. Yeah, nice. It, yeah, I, and I'm, I were just sitting there like after dinner, watching some Avatar before podcasting. I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. I looked down, <laughs> I, I had half the pint gone. I'm like, I gotta get this away from me, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I actually, yeah, I, mean, I, I had a, a coupon oof. for some uh, for some oat milk, so I finally uh, gave it a try. And they didn't have the regular, but they had, like, the extra creamy, which is probably amazing oh, for coffee yeah. and stuff, you know? Um, right. But, you know, the other day I was um, – oh, it was actually the day we went to the urgent care. I was like, well, I need to put something in my belly, but I didn't really have time for much else. So I real quick, you know, threw some of that, some uh, peanut butter protein powder that I have. You nice. know, You know, it's the powdered peanut butter, but it has protein added to it, so – you know some yeah, some of you're that welcome for that yeah you know some of that yeah definitely some of that some you know bananas whatever real quick shake you know and dump yeah. that down my face <clears throat> that stuff was so good in there because it was it was like creamy it was almost like drinking a milkshake it tasted nice. like consistent let's see why it was so good um you know so i was like well i'm definitely gonna buy this for this at least you know <laughs> all right I, 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 the couple times I've bought it, I do enjoy it. Yeah. Like, I don't like cooking with, um, the, the milk, the other milks, like the nut milks and, uh, stuff so much. Cause they don't, first of all, they don't have the, the same fat level that regular milk has, you know, which you usually want for cooking purposes, you know, as a binder right. or whatever. Like but, a trapper keeper. Yeah. But for cooking. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I write my name all over it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, put an ACDC logo on there. Sure, why not? I was always more likely to draw Metallica on there, so, you know. That's fair, that's yeah. fair. See, Brian, you need to get yourself a grill, my friend. I know, I know. Well, Cause, apparently, cause, my brother tells you know, me. Now that it's hot out, I basically grill every day. I would, too, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like my mom wanted me to buy ham the other day. So we get his ham, and we're like, we can't make this in the oven because it's got to cook for a while. It's gonna The house is going to be ridiculous. And I'm like, see if we had a grill, <laughs> I'm like I could put it real low and just, you know, cook it. Yep, night. Low and slow, baby. Basically, Get one of those big foil pans. Yep, exactly. Oh, that's what I was gonna make. Thank you, Brian. All right. No, we, like, sorry, I'm sidetracking. I'm scared now. Um. So you know, my kids come over every week for dinner. Yeah. And we usually put do dinner and we play D and D. Yeah. 
And last time we did it, Logan was like, hey, can we can we play on a Friday and just do, like, snacks? Oh, yeah, that's sure. That's fine. Yeah. He's like, because I want to make buffalo chicken dip. I'm like, okay. And then Leo's like, can I have chicken wings? I'm like, all right, I'll make you some wings. So I'm trying <laughs> to figure out what I want to make. And one of the big things on the grilling and smoking subreddits lately has been people that get those big foil pans and they make smoked queso dip. What? Yeah. All right. And I was like, I'm going to make that. And then today I was at the store and I'm staring at everything going, what the fuck was I going to make on Friday? (laughs) And it just like us talking about grilling in a big foil pan. It all clicked in my head. Oh, damn. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. That's the way, you know, that's how it works sometimes. I definitely want to hear some updates on that for sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. Any apologies. I got no, no, no. Light bulb went off and I got all excited. (laughs) Right. Um, so I'm talking with my one brother the other day and a couple of years ago, he bought a grill that, you know, like target had, it was like a $300 grill, but it was like a hundred bucks. So he bought it and put it at our brother David's house. Well, Mm -hmm. apparently there's some piece in it that went bad. And instead of buying that piece and fixing it or getting it fixed, David just bought a new grill. So yeah. So Daryl was like, you should get a hold of David. And I'm like, yeah, I should, because I'll find out what piece it is and if it's something I can fix or if it's something I need, you know, a professional or something to fix. Because he's... Bro, what? Depending, is it a gas grill? I believe so. Okay. I I have gone through and replaced a lot of shit on gas grills okay. before. Well, um... So I'm just saying, no, if you no. figure it out, okay. let well, your boy know. He, he said he thinks the piece is about a $50 piece. And I'm like, so I can get, a, you know, a few hundred dollar grill, essentially... For like 50 bucks, that sounds okay to me. And he goes, yeah, you know, he might want 20 bucks or something for it. And I'm like, well, I gave him my lawnmower when I moved. So I can just be like, hey, give me that and we'll call it even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a long-term barter system. Also, it's not really his. It's Daryl's, you know? like. <laughs> also true. But, uh, yeah, so I might. Hey, do, you, do you have a way to get it to your house? I don't know. I hadn't thought that far ahead. So right. I got to talk to David first because apparently my nephew might want it. And if so, I'm going to let him take it because he had dibs on it. So, but no, 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 you you got seniority. <laughs> You're right. I do. And he's working two jobs. He's making good money. He can afford a nice new grill. He's working two jobs. Yeah. Is it because he, is it because he's been laid off at Jeep because of Corona? No, no. Wrong nephew. Oh, Jake. oh, oh, okay. David's My kid, bad. Jake. Yeah, sorry. My bad. All right. Yeah. No, no. He's, he, what, 18, 19, just bought himself a house. So. <laughs> oh, all right. Fair he's, enough. He's, yeah, he's doing pretty well for himself. So. Um, oh, good. Good for him. Yeah, absolutely. I got well, to see the house. He can there. afford to buy a grill. That's You're what right. I'm saying, right? <laughs> that yeah. Treat yourself. <laughs> yeah. Buy yourself a big fancy grill because he's got a good size side yard. You know, have people over. But anyway. No one cares about it. Yeah, no, seriously, if you uh if you figure out what it is, just let me know, I'll help you. Okay. I gotta you text know? I keep forgetting to text David. I gotta text him and just ask him because I'm sure he yeah. won't care. He'll probably be happy to have it out of his yard because he doesn't oh, have a real absolutely. big yard, you know, just be like cool, come get it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll figure all that out, yeah. Yeah, then you just gotta get some propane. Yep. And then put some uh heat to the meat. Fuck yeah, dog. Ah, oh, dude. I it's funny because I've been I kind of want to paint that on my grill, put some heat to the meat. Yeah, well, it's, oh, God, they said it on The Simpsons. Um, I can't remember what it is, but, he, yeah, there's something he talks about, and he said, one of the characters, I don't even remember who said it now, but said, uh, oh, it was uh, Flanders, I think, actually said it, because he's in, he invites Homer over for a barbecue. And nice, he's like, you know, nice. we're going to put the heat to the meat, you know, and Homer well, see, now doesn't want to go. I need that for when I build my grill, in, my grill, like, enclosure. Yeah. I need a I need a Ned Flanders in there somewhere saying put the you know heat <laughs> well, to the meat. Well, I got another one you can put up there too. <laughs> like uh, it's like if someone could make me like a needle point of it, dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's one where um, Doctor Hibbert says uh, or something about like that he needs. I can't remember what it is. Whether it's him or Homer, but one of them talks about like him getting another hot dog. Sorry for the Charlie's fireworks. in the trees. I guess. Jeez, people. Um, but Dr. Hibbert talks about how, you know, he needs a hot beef injection, meaning another oh, hot dog. I, yeah, I actually remember that episode. Yeah. <laughs> That's when Homer oh, has a barbecue. God. Yep. 
because Homer's invites say BBBQ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Yeah, I'm, yeah sir, I, I am all for you getting a girl, my friend. Me cause... too. Well, the other thing I'm curious about is I like I want to make sure it's not, like, nasty, you know? Like, if it was sitting, like, was it clean? Can it be cleaned easy? You know, like, I don't want something that's going to turn into a nightmare, you know, where I got to have a hazmat suit to clean it or something. So Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I, uh, I did that a couple of weeks ago. I was just fucking around the yard. I'm like, you know what? I, I cleaned my smoker out and it was gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause it's been yeah. a while. Right. You know? Obviously, but yeah. anyway, so, uh, so, so this week I did something that's going to make you very happy. All right. I'm curious. I watched season one of Avatar. Oh, uh, finally. Yeah. Excellent work, Brian. Yeah. And I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's yes. Yes. Quite, quite yeah, an th- entertaining watch. I think it's one of those shows that like, as you get further into it, you can really feel like the writers hit their stride. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting though, because I, I have a couple of things that have been like, dinking around in my head kind of like a um uh, i don't know how to word it theories about how the show go how it goes right all right right so i'm um, have you watched all of it uh yeah it's been a while since okay I watched it well i don't uh, we're re-watching it right now okay well i don't necessarily i like i don't want you to confirm anything i don't want anyone to spurl anything of course but it's one all of those right. you know sometimes you watch a show and you're kind of like i want to put this out there just to see if i was right down the road kind of a thing you right. know so as i'm watching it i i feel more and more like the story's not about um uh, Jesus, I'm going to be terrible with the names still, even though I've watched the season. Fuck. Aang, as right. much as it's about um, <sighs> Rufio. I can't think of the guy. The, the oh, uh, uh, Prince. Saga. Uh, no, no, the Prince. Oh, uh, Zuku. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is voiced by Rufio from Hook. But anyway, oh, is it? yeah, I, I, I looked up that. the names because I always do that when I watch animated shows. I always look to see who does the voices just for curiosity's sake. Uh, just like the girl who does uh, Katara is um, Anne from uh, Arrested Development. You yeah. remember George Michael's like really bland girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she does the voice of Katara. Um, anyway, yeah. so I feel more like it's the prince's redemption arc story. Right. Because he's clearly bad, evil, but he's also an outcast. And sorry, anyone, real quick, spurlers, if I give anything away. Um, but I feel like in the end that, that it kind of becomes his redemption story. Because I feel like he's going to be key to Aang overthrowing the Fire Lord. Right. Um, but I, I still do believe one of the best characters in television history is Uncle Iroh. Oh, yeah. Speaking of people who are voiced by somebody, you recognize his voice? Uh, I know he's a, a dude that passed. Yep. Aku. I know. That's right. That's yeah. right. He's the guy who voiced Aku on Samurai Jack. The second I heard his voice, I'm like, I'm like, is that Aku? <laughs> his name, I believe, is like Mako or something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah you're right. Yeah. He he passed away a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, but you're right. That character's fantastic. Yeah, uh, Uncle Iroh's great. The yeah. Dragon of the West. He's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's funny watching the show. Also, I had another kind of a theory, which is that, you know, uh, Aang has to learn each facet of, uh, bending in order to be strong enough to overthrow the fire nation. But I'm also realizing that his traveling companion is becoming a very gifted waterbender. He, the, the prince who I've posited as though he's going to have something in the end is a very talented firebender. So in my head, I'm going, okay, does Sokka become an earthbender? Because if so, the four of them overtake the Fire Lord. You know? Right. So anyway. Jesus. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> but, I guess people didn't quite bloat or load yesterday. <laughs> so one of the things I really loved is that there's been things, you know how like there's pop culture references or like Funko Pops or something will come out and I'll be like, I don't get it. Why do people want this one? 
they yeah. made one of the dude with the cabbage cart. <laughs> My cabbage. And I was like, why would they make that? Now that I've seen the episode where, you know, I'm not going to go into it because it's a great thing. But now that I've seen it, I'm like, dude, I kind of want one of those. <laughs> I, I, that's hilarious that they made that. By yeah, the way. it was a, a con one. Um, they go for like 20 bucks, you know, it's him and his cart, you know, and I was like, I kind of want to get one of those. And I know they made an, um, oppa one and I was like, I oh, kind of nice. want an oppa so I can just, you know, constantly yell yip yip to it. So, yeah, it's, it's one of those things I'm, we're rewatching it and I'm like, I kind of wish we would have got like a big white fluffy dog and named it off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and now I want to get a cat and name it Momo, yeah. you know? <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Yeah. It's a, it is a great show. I mean, if it you, really if, is. If you're listening, you've never watched it. I mean, it's on Netflix. Do yourself a favor and check it out. It's really interesting, too, because the animation in it is pretty basic, like cartoon animation. It looks good, but there's moments, yeah. like every once in a while, there'll be something they do where you could tell is like, okay, here's where the budget for the season went, you know? Because <laughs> like, oh, yeah. you can tell well, they just dialed it up a little bit more. Well, and like we're in season two right now. Yeah. And the animation's pretty, it's, like, really good. So you could tell they were like, oh, we, we're we sticking around. We got a good budget now. And, yeah, which makes sense, yeah. you know, because it was, um, I was actually really surprised that the first season is 20 episodes. Mm -hmm. You know, I really figured it would be, like, 15 or 12 or something, you know, because, and then the second season would be 20. But, you know, when I saw that, I was like, huh, like, all right. So, also, I dig the fact that so far, at least through the first season, this isn't really a spurler, but they don't really show the Fire Lord. Oh, yeah, right. They just, like, there's a puppet at one point, and they show him in shadows and stuff, but they never give you a clear look at him through the first season, which I kind of think is cool, you know? Yeah. Um, not that it really it's would a make well, a difference I mean, in this It's a very one. well done show. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's it's very good. And it's on uh, Netflix right now. one of my now, favorite so. things and uh, like Michelle pointed us out earlier today too, was like they do callbacks too. Yes. Yeah, like previous episode callbacks, and it's like some character just mentioned something. And you're like, oh, because that happened three episodes ago. Right, right. Which, which kind of makes it hard if you're just like, why not just hop? It's not like Rick and Morty. You can hop in and kind of watch it wherever. Yeah, yeah. You know? and I like, like they show, like there's one uh, episode where they show like wanted posters. And there's the one of Aang. Oh. And then in the lower right corner, it's the, oh, what's it called? The blue something. The blue, the blue ghost. Or yeah, whatever. it's it's that. Because as soon as I saw it, I'm like, ah, it's the blue, you know. And then the upper right corner. I noticed they kind of leave the camera there. And then they move the camera kind of zooming in on the other one who ends up being a character in the episode. Which I thought was kind of a cool, you know, a little foreshadowing there. Yeah. You know. But also a nice little callback within that same thing, you know. So. <laughs> I know, it's the worst. <laughs> Concern it. You know, right? Oh, man. But, yeah, anyway, uh, I'm very glad you browbeat me into watching it, so. Yeah, I mean, it's like... It, it should, I think it's a show everyone should watch. It is. It's really good, and and it's also one. If anyone's listening, it's it's what TV. It's Y Seven, I believe. So it's it's. Oh yeah, I mean, it was a Nickelodeon cartoon. So yeah, and for the most part, I don't think there's anything that would be really scary or anything to little kids. There's a couple maybe, but you know, most of it's been pretty good. So yeah, definitely a highly recommended. Highly recommended show. At least season one. We'll see on season two. I'll let you know when I finish that. I'll probably have it done by next week. So <laughs> uh, I was like, I mean, you might finish before I finish it. To be fair, yeah, because I'm I've been watching about four or five episodes a night. So yeah, I was yeah. like, like today I think we watched three, but we haven't watched one in a while. So. Yeah, it is. It's another one of those shows that, too, that you know, it's kind of like relaxing. I just. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Dale, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Wow. That's not annoying at all, is not it? Not at people? all, yeah. Jeez, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. What, what's worse, like, you know, it's Sunday night. Now, the worst part is it's still daylight. Like, it's not even dark yet. No, like, the sun's still up. What is the point of shooting fireworks off when you can't see them as well? It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> you know, noise is cool, guys. Ugh. Noise is cool. 
They must be afraid the moon, like, the moon spirit will be too strong for the fireworks. I mean, it is a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. Criminy. But um, you know, you know what? I'm uh, I'm pretty pumped about myself right now. What's that? I uh, not this week, but next week I am off all week. Oh boy, that's trouble. It's amazing. Yep. Just it's gonna, so much needed. Just gonna sit in the in the pool in the backyard in your uh, un, undies. I mean, if I had a pool, probably. <laughs> I, I see a pool right behind you. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That's that's Bomber's pool. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Bomber will share. Yeah. Oh, she probably would climb in there. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. It'd be like a nice outdoor bath with your dog. You know. <laughs> yeah. Right. I I do that. That'd be cool. It's a bonding moment. Right. You need to get, uh, like, from those Cialis commercials, the big, like, silver bathtubs and put a couple of those outside. <laughs> Just have yourself a nice soak in the yard, you know? <laughs> yeah. I never understand that, by the way. Yeah, I don't I don't either. Just, just a, nice, a nice soak in the yard with a boner. <laughs> Cialis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Not, it... Nothing gets me going like a, a yard bath. <laughs> right. Just like I don't get it. Yeah, maybe, well, maybe because they're old timers, it reminds me of like the Great Depression or something. I don't know. You would, you would think, yeah, but even then they wouldn't have had two bathtubs. They would have been, you know, one right after the other in the one bathtub. Well, now it's luxury yard bath. Oh, I see. Okay, I get you. No, yeah. all right. Well, you know what? Let's let's talk about old people real quick. And how stupid they are. <laughs> all right. All right. That's quite a turn. So, yeah. Well, it's uh, it's been so taking hot yeah lately that at my work i've been like i need to buy some tank tops plus sun's out guns out like right, right now got, sure. my, got my jaws tanked up on right but yeah so i'm like i need some tank tops i can work in because it's like any the least fabric i can put on my body at work is like it is a good thing yeah because it gets so hot in there right so i'm like all right i'm gonna go to old navy and, uh, you know, I'll see what they got going on here because I'm sure I can find some. Yeah. Which I did. But Old Navy, they're, res- like, limiting how many people are in the store at a time. Oh, yeah. You know, so I pulled in. There's people waiting outside. I'm like, oh, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. And I'm, I'm getting in line, and there's this group of uh, young girls in front of me and, like, an old lady. And I assumed the old lady was with these girls, right? Sure. Now, she was just standing off staring at the door. So then she realized there's a line, and she just slid in front of me. Sure, as they do. I've had that happen. Yeah. I've noticed that when that happens, it tends to be older people. Yeah, so I was just like, you know what, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I you know, I took a couple steps back because social distancing. Right. And she, she did it. She had a mask on, which I was surprised by. Sure. Oxygen or? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I wish. I might start flicking matches at her. <laughs> wow, that's harsh. Yeah, tank might have some of that shrapnel might have caught you though. I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, it, it just wait for the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like two people leave Old Navy, and I could hear the person at the front door talk, tell the group of three girls, "Hey, two of you guys could come in." The one girl's like, I, "I'm not going in without you." So it's, we just gotta have to sit here and wait. And then the old lady in front of me just goes. This is ridiculous. It's so hot outside. We have to wait out here. And you could tell by the way she said it. She's looking for like other people like, yeah. Yeah. No one said a word. Or for someone to go, well, you go on in- ahead of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So another person leaves and the three young girls go in and this old lady just blew by the front door person, just walked right in. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, just total disregard for anything. Yeah. Because clearly her comfort is the most important thing going on. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. You know? Right. What I think is funny is if you're going to stand outside and bitch about the heat and having to wait, why don't you just leave? Yeah, I was hoping she would. Like there's nothing so- nothing you could possibly need at Old Navy that is like, if I don't get this, I'm going to die. Yeah, exactly, right? You know, also, Old Navy has a website, so, you know, like... <laughs> yeah, hell, they have curbside pickup. Yeah. So, you know, So yeah, there's options. So she, blow, she blows away, and I said, I'm just standing there, and like, someone leaves, so the woman walks me in, and I'm like, hey, thank you very much, you know, 
giving her like because i know yep. that's gotta suck to do that all day sure oh i'm sure yeah you know and, and the, the first thing she said to me was like oh no problem sir i really appreciate you waiting yeah <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's no problem. Right, because you could have stiff armed the old lady and went in ahead of her, you know. Oh, I, I mean, I should have RKO'd her, to be honest. <laughs> that would have been fun to see. Shit, yeah. I just can't believe the audacity of some people. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. But, but then it was like the worst part about that day, for some reason, you know, Corona is spreading like wildfire right now because people are stupid. Yep. And I... Went to go get the tank tops, and I had to do a couple other, like, grocery-type stops. Yeah. Every store I went to was so busy. I know, right? And it's like, why is everybody out? Right. Well, if, if you're and going it, for groceries, it was because the 4th of July was coming up. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I knew that was part of it, too. But it was just like, it's Also, still... it's, it's early in the month, so people get their social security and WIC and all that kind of stuff. So. Oh my God, dude, just the amount of people, yeah, on the, right? even on the road. Yeah. Cause you know, I mean, once again, I, I hate going local for our non Toledo people, Yeah. but you know where the mall is. Mm -hmm. That whole area was so bad yeah. that like when we were trying to figure out food, Michelle's like, well, how about we go to, I'm like, I can't go over it in that area. Toledo. Right. Yeah. It's as, almost as bad as it is at Christmas over there. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been so crazy. Bad. I've been over there a couple. Jesus, I've been over there a couple times, and it's been <laughs> annoying. So, it's, they're just returning fire. That's I coming guess. from the other <laughs> <Internet> neighborhood. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, yeah. got to hold your ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Oh boy, I know. I I noticed that. Uh, you know the places I've gone. And I haven't gone very many places because I've been trying not to, you know. But when I have gone out, I'm noticing that, too. Like, Target over here for a while when I was going, you could literally walk in Target, get what you need, and walk right back out. Yeah. And now it's busy. Like, yeah. you know, really busy. And I was like, damn it, you know. And um, because people are – so many people because of, of things opening back up. <laughs> They, they just went right yeah. back to normal. Like I was talking with the, we, I, I had my groceries, you know, at Kroger where, you know, we, we just go pick them up and, yeah. you know, the kid brings them out and I was talking with him. I'm like, so I'm like, you guys been busy. Cause I'm thinking it's hot as balls. Plus the holiday weekend. I'm thinking people don't want to screw with the store. So they would take this route instead. And he goes, actually, no, he's like, you're only like the third order I've had today. And we picked up at like eight o'clock at night. Holy shit. And so I'm people like, are just like, everything's fine, guys. Yeah, he's like, seriously, he's like, I think everyone just feels comfortable going back in the store. And uh, he's like, I just, he's like, people are just acting in there like things are, like, corona's over. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's crazy. You know, he's he's like, I'm still going to wear my mask and keep doing And I was like, nah, bro. I was like, you you keep doing that. I was like, let's, you know, stay stay strong yeah. and, and keep, keep doing this because... Yeah, fight the good fight. And this shit. is crazy. Yeah, and I had to go into the store for a couple minutes, and I was just walking around. And I will say there was a good amount of people wearing masks, but what I'm noticing in the grocery stores, especially, is there's not a lot of social distancing going on. No, uh, yeah. I mean, well, one of the other stores I had to go to was uh, Home Depot. Yeah, and uh, you know. I know there wasn't a line to get in the store, but there was a line to check out. Yeah. And once again, an old guy who was wearing his mask on his chin. Sure. Well, you got to keep, you know, keep your chin protected. I mean, I guess <laughs> all, all, all them rolls are covered. Sure. And he was all bent out of shape that there was a line for the cash out. And, and he was like, cause you could tell he tried walking by the line and realized that was the line. Yeah. And he was all like, Oh, <sighs> And he was, because he unfortunately got into the line before I did, but I could see him as I was walking up to it, you know? Yeah. And he was just up this woman's asshole that was in front of him. Like, God. zero social distancing. Right. And I've seen that quite a few times, and I think it really is. I think people are trying to, much like in traffic, you know, like when people get right on someone's ass, I think they're yeah. trying to influence them. You know, like yeah. they're trying to get them to move out of the way. And it's like, come on, just like, listen, most places we go now, there's going to be a line. Things aren't yeah. the same speed that they were before. They're not going to be for a while. It's like we, we just got we got to have some patience with this shit. You know, it sucks. I've been in the store a few times, man. 
when I was in Target, there was something, I forgot what it was I was getting. It was something we needed. So I had to stand in line and I'm like, I keep looking back to the, uh, electronics counter to see if anyone was there. Cause if so, I was about to like, you know, sprint down there. Like I was Forrest Gump and, you know, be like, Hey, can you check this out for me? Because, you know, I, I've done that quite a few times in the past when they've been busy. I mean, it's a good move. It's a good move. And they, they don't care. You know, if the cash register's yeah. open, they don't give a shit. And it's not like they're not allowed right. to. So, you know, I do the same yeah, thing over exactly. at Kroger. Like, if I'm going into the farm, going up to the pharmacy, if I have, like, one thing to get, if there's long lines, I'll be like, can you ring this out over here? And they're like, yeah, no problem. And you know. like, of course, of course. Don't mind me, Brian. Yeah. I got to so, turn my brightness up. Yeah, I know. It's, uh... I mean, people do typically don't care. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah. it's like, you know what? You just got to wait in line. I mean, that's just how it is. It sucks. Yeah. But... It's just people are just assholes, man. Yeah. Yeah. Although it was funny when I was in, uh, I went to Target a couple days ago, and I was I was buying a, a, a Jurassic World dinosaur. And nice. there's a woman, the woman in front of me in line, she's like, I got to ask you a question. I'm like, okay. And she goes, is that for you? <laughs> I'm like, yep. And I was wearing my send more tourist, you know, Jurassic Park t-shirt. And I was like, and I just pointed at the shirt and she goes, oh my God, I didn't even see that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolutely. It's for me. Why yeah. wouldn't it be? Right. Like I'm a kid at heart. Psh, dinosaurs are always cool, man. I don't care how old you are. Well, well, I mean, like, the so dinosaurs like you've just... talked about aren't very cool, but you know. Well, yeah, yeah, those dinosaurs could fuck off. I can't wait to go extinct. Yeah, you know. Yep. Um, I mean, I just bought those, you know, minis, quote unquote, mm -hmm. for us to uh, play. And then I, because like, we actually bought two games. Yeah. We bought the Frostgrave, and I bought another game called Gaslands Reloaded. Okay. And it's the whole game is basically like Mad Max style death races. Oh yeah, I remember? You, yeah, you talking about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just use templates and, and like Matchbox cars. Oh okay. <laughs> so 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 I I bought like a two. I went to, which is probably the best store to get like dumb shit. I went to Five Below. Yeah, it's pretty good for that stuff. It was like four bucks for five cars, about two packs, and then I bought my dog a frisbee because she loves them, and a big like oversized tennis ball. Sure, sure. And, oh, and some sidewalk chalk because you know I want to draw on the sidewalks like a goddamn five year old. Right. Oh, I thought that was for the dog too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just for me. Delicious. But, yeah. but uh, uh, I can't wait to play that game. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, God, I lost my complete train of thought here. Uh, although I gotta say one, I gotta have a little like a little sad downer moment. Like if I had my soundboard, I'd cue up the Hulk music real quick. Uh -huh. Because last week, a dude I work with, Richard. Passed away in his sleep. Oh wow! Like he like he wasn't there. He was there Monday. He wasn't there Tuesday. Everyone's like, ah, he calls off all the time. Yeah. He died Monday night. Oh man. He was only six, only sixty three. Right. Right. Mm. Like I, I literally about to retire. Just bought a house. Right. And it's one of those things where the only reason he because he he would always tell me because I, I was a guy I talked to like every day. He would tell me like, oh, I got plenty of money. But I just I'm I'm here for the insurance. Oh right. So he was in there. He was in there working his dick off every day for the insurance. Sure. And it's just it made me. It makes me so sad. Yeah. Right. You know, because it's like to do what he was doing, which is like physical, physical labor, just because he, he of the medical insurance. Right. Well, because you've I, been there. I, I mean, you've worked huh? shitty jobs just to keep insurance in the past. Yeah. You know. Oh, absolutely. It yeah. sucks. Yep. I mean, I mean, I would tell him, I'd be like, no offense, Richard, I'm a big fan of you, but get the fuck out of here. Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, but it's, I don't want to see you anymore. It's you because know? you can't, you can't just go, like, you can't go be a Walmart greeter and get good insurance, you know? I know, and, that, or, that, and that's what it was. Or whatever, was, you know, just some easier job. You can't, there's no insurance with him, you know, that's he any was trying to, he, he was trying to get to that Medicaid age. Yep. And he wasn't too it's far. Just, it's what, 65, no. I think? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was almost there. It's just, yeah. fuck. Man. Well, it's just brutal. It's it's you know he was an older guy, which but but it still sucks. Yeah, right. You know. Yep. I mean, still though, sixty yeah. something, given our um, the the medical and stuff in this country, you know, that shouldn't seem old. No, I mean, all all things considered, that's kind of young now. Right. 
And also, let's be honest, yeah. as as we're now in our 40s, 60 don't look so old no more. <laughs> no, no. And, 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 well, and it's weird, too, because, I mean, it's like the dude he used to work with every day is a, a young kid. He's like, you know, 21 or 22. Yeah. And, like, I could tell just by looking at him, he was, like, shook. Yeah. You know, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm thinking, I'm like, this is probably the first time he's had, like, like a friend die. Very well could be at that age. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I, so I, I told him, I'm like, Hey man, if you know, you need to talk, I, I, I checked in, I've been checked in on him all week nice. just to make sure he's all right. Sure. Sure. Well, it is like you, you know? said, you know, no matter how you look at it, like somebody you work with, you know, it's whether you see him as like a family or not, it's still somebody you interact with on a daily basis. It's someone, you know? Yeah, yeah, right exactly. There. I mean, unfortunately with the society we live in, you spend more time with your coworkers than you do your family. Yeah, so it I understand it when people's coworkers, you know, die and it you know, it hits you different, I'm sure. I can't I can't really think of I mean, I you know, when Spence died, Spence was a coworker of mine, but he was a friend. There's a difference he was also there, a friend, you know? yeah. yeah. And I knew him before he was a coworker, you know, so it was that was a different scenario. But still, right. you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think honestly, looking back on it, that might be the first coworker I've ever had that I actually talked to all the time. Yeah. Die. Right. Because I mean, obviously, I've worked in places where like, oh, did you hear about so and so? I'm like, oh, oh, that sucks. You know, I don't really right. know him. Yeah. But you know, this guy was like, oh, fuck, because he was just a cranky old man, made me laugh every day, making <laughs> dick jokes and stuff. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Well, it's because yeah. you were like, that's me in 20 years. <laughs> oh, ab- absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. It is funny, yeah, I mean, though, I mean, I... like I think like at the age we are now, I think the reason 60 doesn't look so old is like think about how long ago 20 feels. Oh, yeah. Right. 20 doesn't feel close anymore to me anyway. It feels a long time ago. So it's like, well, hopefully 60 feels that far away by the time <laughs> I get to it. You know, like hopefully it feels like it's a, a journey, not just like blinking. Oh, shit, I'm 60 already. <laughs> <sighs> Man, you know? time is so weird. Though. I know it is, you know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Bomber okay, I don't know what we're barking at. Bomber, what do, what do you see? What do you see? It's probably just her head rattling. You're probably right. You hear those walnuts rattling around in there? <laughs> I'm going to get them. <laughs> it's like I didn't hear any fireworks going no, off. No, I didn't either. Yeah. <laughs> Unless she's her, barking. Well, her new favorite game is she discovered lightning bugs. Right. I was just going to say I've seen some lightning bugs, so yeah. maybe she's barking at those. Yeah, I mean, she she tries to catch him and stuff. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, she is a, she's a dope. Yeah. Well, speaking of dopes, did you oh, yeah? did you see that uh, Comedy Central's reviving Beavis and Butthead? I did not see that. Yeah, looks like they've uh, with Mike Judge. I with assume. Mike Judge, yes, because I'd be Thank very eh, if it didn't. Um. But, yeah, I assume it'll be different because I can't imagine they're going to do a bunch of the music in it, you know. But maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, doesn't whoever own MTV also own Comedy Central? Yeah, Viacom or whoever it is. Yeah, whatever. yeah. I mean, they yeah. might. They might. If they're, if they're smart, that's what they would do because yeah. I don't know if you ever watched any of the more modern music videos on, like, YouTube and stuff. They generally are terrible. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. It looks like they've signed it up for two years, and right. uh, no no release date or anything because it's you know pretty pretty uh, brand yeah, new. Go, go get those lightning bugs, dummy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was kind of kind of surprised that that's getting a revival, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of shocked. It's it, I mean it's. Is it like the 20th anniversary or? Uh, let's see. It shows here. I mean, it was on what's from. What's the reason behind it? I think they're just doing it because it's just, you know, our generation is, you know, at a point to where they can probably bring it back. It'll get some viewership from our generation, and they're hoping that they'll get, you know, some of the youths with it too, I guess. But it was on yeah. from 93 to 97. Yeah, fair enough. So it's been been a while again. I I'm just I'm shocked. I'll be honest. Yeah. I mean that's not the one thing I would ever assume would come back. Yeah. Because yeah. it seems like it seemed like when it hit in the '90s. Yeah. 
it was perfectly timed. Yes. I that's kind of my thing is like I don't know that it's going to be perfectly timed, but I will say this. I'm a big fan of how Mike Judge does his satire stuff. Oh, for sure. So, yeah. you know, I I don't know. It also like they said they haven't decided like they haven't announced whether they're still teenagers or anything, you know, around the oh show too. Oh my god, can you picture if they aged? They wouldn't have to age them much. Just make them like 20 something. Oh, no, no, no. What know? if it was Beavis and Butthead, but they were like, they were teenagers in the 90s, like us, and now they're. Oh, us. now they're 40? <laughs> yeah. Still working at the burger place? <laughs> I mean, that would be like bald spots and shit. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be it. I, I think I'd watch I that. I might be okay, actually. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not totally against that either. <clears throat> But yeah, that would be hilarious. Either way, when it shows up, I'll give it a go because, you know, why not? Yeah, I mean, I hear you. I, I'll, I mean, I'm going to have to as well. Yeah. I'm assuming I can – I can't remember which streaming service is Comedy Central, but I'm sure I have access uh, to it. Cause... None really. Comedy Central went – they pulled all their stuff, basically, most of their stuff from Hulu because it used to be Hulu. Um, they pulled most of it because mm. Comedy Central wants you to use their app. Well, this sounds like bullshit. Yeah, but their app is, you know, I mean, it's free, but I think in order to access everything, you have to have a TV, uh, you know, you have to have a TV package that includes it, which I do. I I guess I'm out. (laughs) Nah, you'll figure it out. Yeah, you're right. So was that that meme? The secret ingredient is crime. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Now you get it. Whatever. Now you get it. Right? Um, Can you dig it? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, fair enough then. Sweet. Oh man. I gotta look at my notes. Hold up. Yeah, I was just gonna ask you if you had anything else because that that covers uh, most of what's in my notes. Oh, Except I have for... two more things. All right. Uh, one of them is you know we're it's kind of like a, a callback, uh, not a callback, a follow up. Right. Uh, to you know, high ham cheese, our buddy Garrett. Yeah. Introduces the hot dad sucking on my tendies. Right. <laughs> Which I'm not going to lie. Well, here we go again. Jesus. It's probably going to get worse because it's getting darker. Jeez, probably. Pro people. I thought it was going to be. I, am I under attack, Brian? You might be. I'm, I'm starting to see colors behind you at least. Oh yeah, it's it's Sunday. Those are fireworks for Jesus. Yeah, of course. They yeah. better be yelling "Kia" as they're <laughs> launching them. Then they better be. They're not um, that cool. I thought it was going to be a spoof of uh, peaches sucking on my titties. Yeah, sucking on my titties. That would have been the way to go. But that was. It starts I mean, that way. But it has it, the most believable chicken tender costume I've ever seen in my life. It absolutely it. does. I got to say, the middle part where it's kind of like the interlude really didn't do a lot for me. But uh, the the Tendies costume, top notch, for yeah. sure. I, like, I kind of felt like the music video could have been way shorter. Yes. Well, that's what it I'm was saying. It a long video. It was four minutes, and that yeah. interlude could have probably all, mostly been cut out. Jesus, they could have just put. Welcome to Salty Language, the first podcast from directly from a war zone. Apparently. Jeez. Oh my god! Really, people? I know. Really, I know. Bomber, they're 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 stupid. Yeah. She's sitting next to me, like I don't know what's happening up here, Dad. I'm I don't gonna sit like your foot and be nervous. Right? Yeah, I don't blame her. I'm either. sorry, Bomber. I'm sorry. That's what I'd be doing if I was there too. Yeah, sit on my foot and be nervous. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll have yeah, a link to it in the show. One, uh, one downside of the outdoor recording studio. Well, especially right now. today We didn't yeah. think about this ahead of time, obviously. Otherwise, this one might have been one where it was like, eh, maybe not outside today. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I was just like, man, it's so nice out. I need to be outdoors. Yeah. Um, the hell someone mining for gold now what the hell (laughs) bomber's collar oh (laughs) i'm Um, scratching her neck and it's hitting the table oh okay right right um but yeah i I definitely uh you know check check it check it out at least to see the the tendies costume 
Yeah, oh, best Tendi's costume I've ever seen. Pretty in my good. Life. It's pretty good. Yeah. I didn't watch so any of his that. other stuff. I haven't watched any of the other stuff either. Yeah. yeah. But I uh, so I got that, and I don't know. If, I I just another follow up. Do you remember me talking about my uh, quote unquote ring light I got from Wish? Yes. That was seed pads. <laughs> yeah. I am convinced that Wish customer service is just there to frustrate you to the point you're like, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just going to stop. That's a good tactic. It's working. Because it's like, they're like, hey, take some pictures of the uh, the shipping labels. Okay. Oh, well, that's not the shipping label. It looks like there's a label on top of it. Can you peel it off? And, and I tried. It wouldn't peel off. So I, I told them that. I'm like, here's what I got. Yeah. Well, that's not the li- – we're looking for this now. Okay, okay, I try to do this. No, no, but we're looking for this shipping label. And I haven't responded since. Jeez, I'm crow. And it's like I, I'm pretty sure it's just the tactic. Yeah. Which at this point, I'm like, you know what? The the ring light and tripod I ordered was like $18 or something. Yeah, at some point, it's, it's like it's not even worth it's it anymore. Worth, it's worth the $18 not to ever talk to them again. <laughs> right. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do with my sick-ass seat covers I have. Maybe I could put them in the Jeep. I don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I should I should take a picture. They're so terrible. Yeah. I've kept them in, like, the package it came in because I'm like, I might have to send these back. Right. Yeah. I mean, at this point now, it's like, uh, uh, whatever. I'm just going to use them for my, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Yeah. We we we'll, we'll, lesson learned. Yeah, I was gonna say what we should do is that we should just start assembling dumb shit that we acquire, yeah. and then eventually we should just have like a garage sale giveaway. <laughs> yeah, I mean we have a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah, I mean I've ordered a a couple things off of Wish. Yeah, I don't. I think I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, especially with this. It was you know. Yeah, I mean, I got the green screen set up. That was actually pretty, and that shipped out of the United States, right? So I'm not mad at that, right? But the, I mean, it took me so long, yeah, for that stuff to get to me, and then it was wrong, and now it's been yeah. two weeks of me dealing with customer service. Right. I don't remember what it is. I've only ordered from there once. I don't remember what it was. Whatever it was, I ordered took like a month to get here, and it was it was right. But I'm trying to think what the hell it was. I don't remember. But it was one of those things to where it was like one degree off of what you ordered. To where oh, you're well, like, you, the, you know, you where you're the like, gloves I ordered. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, fingerless gloves that were clearly ladies' gloves. <laughs> yeah, those were right. Yeah. I just think you need to accept that you have lady fingers. They they knew what I mean, was up. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know, right? So, yeah, fuckwish.com. I'm going to delete the app because I'm sick of getting push notifications from it. Yeah, there's that, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm officially done with it. Right. So, yeah, I'd rather spend more money and get shit off of Amazon. So, speaking of, like, well, this, eh, this is kind of frustrating. So, anyway, I get so many notifications, emails, texts, calls from the Red Cross because I'm O positive, Right. So they oh. really <laughs> they really want my blood, right? Yeah, maybe they're just vampires. That's very possible. But yeah. I have tried go like I go on their website, I go to schedule because my brother wants to go to. I try to schedule, and right now they're they only have limited appointments. Right? Okay. So they're open from like whatever, th- like say noon to three and they only have like two appointments per hour, basically open. Right. So they fill up super fast. Like I just looked today cause my brother texted me and was like, Hey, do you want to try to give blood this week? I looked and I'm like, they're basically booked up for the whole week. And it's like, well, well then quit annoying me with all these comments. It's like, I try to, you know, come in and give you guys blood, and it's like, oh, we're all full up. You know, it's like, like then how like, about bitch, stop sending don't shit you know out? I'm o? <laughs> right? That's what I should do is call and be like, hey, don't you have somebody who's one of those blood types that you know don't matter? Like, I know trauma trauma uh, surgeon. You know, they or trauma surgery get O positive gets used quite a bit in there. You know, 
But just next time they bug it, just be like, well, how much you paying? Uh, that's be like, sir, but it's donation. Be like, no, 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 you keep yeah. bugging. Well, they usually offer, like, uh, you know what? This week it's probably for a certain reason was because I think you get, like, a Wonder Woman T-shirt and a $5 I mean, Amazon gift card, which, don't get me wrong, I would take, you know? Yeah, fair enough. But I'm generally, you know, it's like I'm 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 not signing up to give blood for that. I'm doing I mean the selfish reason I'm doing it is I want to get my hemoglobin down so that at some point I can get back on my testosterone shots. Oh, dude, then we can I'll, you know, I'll come over tonight we can get some blood out. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can get blood. That's not the problem. I mean, I can get going, you know, maybe like 25 miles an hour. You just tuck a roll upside the Jeep. <laughs> right. <laughs> just scrape up what I can off the ground and do, yeah, go donate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I think I'm going to call him and see if I can figure something out. Just be like, hey, I really want to come in. But, uh, yeah, because I have a feeling that if they want you to schedule, you know, because they don't want, like, 50 people showing up at one time because of the Rona. Well, yeah, you know? the Rona. Yeah, of course. But part of me really wonders if if you did just kind of show up, if they would turn you away or I mean, if it might, or just it, because of the like Rona yeah. regulations, but it's like, it, like when we went before, it only took like 20 minutes, you right. know, like you really, now I understand after each patient, they have to wipe everything down or whatever, but they're using like every other bed. So, you know what I mean? It's like, you literally could keep the rotation going and yeah. you know, but I don't know. I'm like I said. I'm probably gonna call him and just be like, "Hey, what's your solution to this? Because I'd like to give blood, but every time I go to schedule, it's already full for the week." You know? Yeah. I mean, that's that's probably not a bad move to call him like right? that. And I want a Wonder Woman shirt. No. Who <laughs> wouldn't? Yeah. Like I said, I mean, if they were like, "Here, do you want?" It was funny though, because like when I went before, they, they have these like medallion things that they give out when you donate blood. You know? And I was like, "Nah, I'm good." And they're like, "You don't want it?" And I was like. No, and they're like, oh, usually people want that. And I'm like, I'm not giving blood for like, I'm doing it because it's the right, you know, it's a good thing to do, but I'm doing it yeah. mainly because I'm trying to get my own hemoglobin down. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I, I don't need a, a gold medal saying I donated. What am I going to do? Hang it on my trophies at home. I mean, that's what I did with it, but still, you know, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair enough. It's the only thing hanging, but <laughs> It would be funny going so he's like, Wow, look at all these medals he got. Then they really look they're all blood donation yeah. medals. <laughs> like are those like, oh uh, it's like it's funny because those to me uh, are they're participation levels but or don't or medals, but they're like a level up because you do have to go out of your way to do it, you know? Yeah, this is true. Unless you work in a place when they show up and they're you know, you can do it there, but I I don't so much do that. <clears throat> right, right, right. So, anyway, whatever. I'll I'll figure it out. Maybe. Yeah, you'd be all right. Yeah. I do like the fact that give, they give out swag, though. That's kind of that's kind of fun. Yeah. Well, they had for a while, like, also, like, a lot of times they'll give more out. Like, you'll get, like, 15 or $20 Amazon gift card if you give um, platelets or Power Red or, you know, the, the more. Uh, Power Red, isn't it? Energy drink? Probably, yeah. No. <laughs> it should be. But I, I don't so much sign up for that because I. I, I think that's the the red can of monster power red might be, but I've I've read about those donations like and that they're uncomfortable and not fun and all that. So I'm like, eh, I'd rather not. Yeah, they got they got to pull the power red right out of the dick vein. No yeah. One needs that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if that's they do a, that with real bummer, if they do that with me, all they're going to get is monster piss. You know. So I mean, that's true. It's, yeah. Well, it's perfect. It's power red. Right. <laughs> Like, uh, this isn't what we were wanting. <laughs> There's a like lot what? of urine mixed in with this blood. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, you takes what you get, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, listen, I, my body hasn't figured out how to separate the two yet. <laughs> hey, when you spike the main vein, <laughs> what are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> like, did we hit an artery? I'm like, no, no, it all comes up <laughs> like there. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah, imagine hosing that out every morning. Yeah, right? Imagine being me, for sure. Yeah, yeah right? Oh, man. All right. Old, old pink lemonade piss. <laughs> right? Oh, boy. Yikes. Right? No, no thank you. For oh, sure. Oh, man. So you have anything else? Or is... No, I got right. spotted notes-wise that I got. All right. 
I guess let's yeah, move but... into some Q the W before this gets worse. <laughs> yeah, besides, besides the firing squad of Barrow nearby. Right. I hope they at yeah. least give you a cigarette. Uh, I'll take a cigar. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, then I can That's sit fine. there for like an hour and a half. Oh, no, they Five still they just shoot you right away. They don't care. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be such a bummer. Yeah, they light you up, get you going. You're like, nice, nice. And they just shoot you. <laughs> you're like, oh, God damn it. One of the guys walks over and just takes the cigar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, last week, Brian, we asked the the question of what would you buy, never buy, sorry, as slightly used. Yeah. So on faith page. Julie, she says, undies, I kid you not, I saw a big loss once a pack underwear that said it had been returned, had a sticker on it that said, one pair slightly dirty. Ah. That's vile. Why wouldn't you just throw those in the trash and repackage the last two? Or throw them all in the trash. Yeah, yeah, seriously, that's the right move. Just burn yeah. them. Yeah. First, also, yeah. why were they allowed to return them if they were slightly used? Like you, most places won't, don't take undies back. Uh, I I don't know. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, it's horrifying. Imagine being that customer service person. Ugh. Yeah. Right. Ugh. Yeah, they they like return it like, sir. There's only three pairs in his four packs. Like, oh, hold on, he hikes his drawers down. <laughs> Ugh. I forgot. Uh, they ring them out and just roll them back up into the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just hit them with a light saw wipe real quick. <laughs> yeah, they're only sure sli- fine. They're only slightly used. <laughs> little <laughs> little oniony, but not bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just <laughs> slightly used. Exactly. Ugh, gross. Ugh. Uh, so Valerie, she says underpants, condoms, and toilet paper. Those are all good things to not want used. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And then Amanda, she says, enema. I mean, I wouldn't want to buy a used enema either. Right. Oh, why would it do this? Hold on, Brian. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Hold on. You know, Facebook's the best. It's like, oh, hey, we're only going to show you your relevant comments. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hate that they do that. Not that that I'm looking at it. Yeah. It's like, no, I'd like to see all of them. Yeah, oh, here, a few, one more comment. Oh, look, and the one that they were trying to filter out, Dev, was yours. Mm-hmm. So Big Dev, he says adult diapers, maxi pads, toothbrushes, and colostomy bags. Yeah, yeah, those all seem pretty, pretty, uh, definitely things you don't want used. And also, Dev has a very weird shopping list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's kinky. I guess, if you're into colostomy I bags. I mean, I... I was talking about adult diapers earlier this week. Yeah. Because I, I was flipping through this, uh, like, food magazine, and I'm like, why is there just a close-up of this woman's ass on his face? And it's for adult diapers. <laughs> right. You know, because you can't, you can't see the diaper line. Right, no visible. Because can't panty line. Right. And, you know, I'm like, man, I will never wear these things. And, she, and Michelle's like, well, you never know when you get older. I'm like, no. I would rather shit my pants and <laughs> shake a turd out of my pant leg as I'm walking than wear adult diapers. Like, if it comes to the point where I'm wearing adult diapers, it's just Brian needs you to put two in the back of my head. Not a problem. Like, at the end, at the end of a pier or something. Yeah. Well, I'll, it'll, we'll, we'll have a nice uh, of mice and men moment, you know? Yeah, exactly. You're taller exactly. than me. It all works out, you know? <laughs> it all works out. It all works out. Yeah. I'll just tell you to, you know, look at the flowers or whatever. I don't remember how the book ends. Sorry for the spoilers. <laughs> uh, so yeah, why, like, look look at the rabbit's George yeah, or whatever. Yeah, something like that. And then, yeah. you know, night-night. Yeah, exactly. Then fucking right in Domer. Right. Vulcan neck pinch. Yep. Vulcan neck pinch. <laughs> a, a kung fu chop to the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Kia! Kia! The last thing you hear is Kia! <laughs> exactly. Yep. And uh, so that's all I had on Face page, but on uh, Instagram, former enthusiast guest, Casey Pierce, she says underwear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's like been the, uh, that's been a pretty universal one in our answers. Yeah, I think so. Cause it's like, you know, of the, think about it. Like, you know, if, if you and I were in similar 
sizes and whatnot, and you were and I was like, oh, I ruined my shirt, and you were like, hey, I got one you can borrow. I'd be like, yeah, whatever. I'd throw the shirt on, right? But if you yeah. if I was like, oh, I ruined my underpants, and you were like, here's some for you, I'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna free ball. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm good, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, do you yeah. have a towel I can wrap around instead, or you know? Make a big sumo diaper yeah. out of it, whatever you know. I mean, you're not wrong. I, I can't yeah. think of any situation where I would wear someone else's underwear. Right. <laughs> like, there's a few articles of clothing like that, like socks. I ain't trying to borrow no one's socks either. That just feels weird too. I would be more willing to. Oh, borrow for sure. Socks. Yeah. I'd, I'd use the you socks know, as underwear first. Yeah. And, yeah, and funny enough, I've borrowed someone's bathing suit before. Nice two piece or one. And, <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, come on, Brian. <laughs> you know how I roll. You're right. Three, two triangles and a thong, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, but I, but that might as well be underwear. Let's be honest here. I, that's true. It, that's and true. I, I, and I have done that before. Yeah, I've done that. You know what? I haven't done that in a long, long, long time. But same here. Even, yeah, same here. Even when I did, I was kind of like, "This is weird." So, oh, yeah, it, it is weird. Yeah. But, but at the same time, like, well, I kind of want to get into water, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess. See, I the know. secret is, Brian, and I'm wearing a pair right now, is I have shorts. <laughs> yeah. Because we went swimming earlier today. I have shorts that are swimming trunks that basically look like everyday shorts. Right, right. And that's the key. Yeah. Because, you know, I, like, as soon as I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to go swim today, I just put them on first thing in the morning, and I just walk around like a – yeah, that, yeah, you're right. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's definitely the move. Cause, oh, yeah. Because otherwise, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I've been places it's where like, people It's are, like having a secret agent suit, you know? Yeah. I've lucked out a few times where people have, you know, I've been as an adult, and they'll be like, oh, you know, but I'm like, oh, I'm too fat for everyone's clothes, so I guess I can't borrow a suit, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. Oh, oh darn. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's cool, bro. We're going to, you know, we're, we're, we're going to go all skinny dipping like a Narika. Yeah. Or like, Minica, that's what it was, right. Minica. I just take a hammer and hit my leg with it and break my knee. You know, I'm like, oh, look what just happened. Ah, uh, it's crazy. All uh, my toes exploded because of this hammer. I have to go to the hospital now. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. Just right. like everything in that pool, nuts. <laughs> True enough. True enough. That's, but that's, uh, that's the answers I got, my dude. All right. I, I, I have none. What? Nope. No fluffy bunny ash? No. Nope. No Cheeto Bandito? Mm-mm. Nothing. I didn't see anything on Twitter, so if someone answered on Twitter, I'm sorry, but I didn't see any answers. So <sighs> I'm so sad now. Well, you know, it was a holiday, so everyone's probably busy shooting fireworks. I I mean they they probably drove to Toledo to shoot them off right now. That's what I would do. Right over like I think everyone is in the yard behind you shooting fireworks off. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, as soon as the page loads here, I'll, uh, what do we got? One through 25 for this week. Uh, one through 25, huh? Yes, sir. Let's go four in honor of July 4th, yo. All right. All right. I feel like we've done this before. You tell me. Is what's a popular band or musician you can't stand? I kind of feel like we've done that before, too. Okay. So let's not do that one then. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, let me delete the next one that would pop up in the, the four spot, too, because it's kind of the same question. I must not have realized I did that. How dare you, sir? Sorry. All right, so do you still want the the one that's in the four spot, or do you want something else? Bro, Mer- America. All right, all right. Okay, so what was your most MacGyver moment? Oh, I've had a lot of those. Because I've worked some goofy ass jobs where you have to like like fix shit on the fly in the field. Right. <laughs> in the field. I'm just now I'm picturing you in a like a war movie, you know? Uh I I got it though. I got a good one. Okay. So do you remember when I used to work in refineries, like right out of high school? Yep. Okay. So what I used to do is do, we heat treated welds. And it was like a lot of work to run the cables. We had to wrap the pipes and heat pads and insulation. Tie them down with wire, put like thermal in, like like spot weld thermal couples and shit to the pipes. Right. And then it was like six to eight hours of the machine 
heating the pads up slowly, letting it sit at a certain temperature, and then bring the pads back down slowly so you could properly heat treat the, treat the weld, right? Okay. So the time that you're doing this, you're literally just sitting there watching like the screen to make sure nothing went fucked up on the temperature. Right. That's all you're doing. I, that's when I bought my Game Boy Color. I was playing Pokemon, although I hated it because <laughs> it was a time kill, you know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I just love that you didn't buy some other game. <laughs> well, I, I think my Game Boy came with Tetris and Pokemon. Okay. That's all I had. That would make sense, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh, cool. Everyone's shooting each other. Shooting off. Yeah, get Sweet. those angels in the sky. That's yeah. what they're doing. That's right. Um. But what we, we did collectively was generally one guy would watch shit while another guy slept. Mm-hmm. You know, because you know, especially when we're working nights. Right. So what we did is, you know, that like you go to construction sites, you see that orange plastic fencing they put up. Yeah. Like temporary fencing. Yeah. So we we took uh, some of that fencing that wasn't even ours. We just you just straight up yes you yoinked it from someone else, and like stapled it and nailed it and shit the two by fours and we made a hammock <laughs> nice <laughs> you know and, right. and then when it's rolled up and in the corner of the trailer it looks like equipment right you know but right. it's actually a, a delicious hammock <laughs> <laughs> i love it that's awesome yeah so so that that's probably my macgyver Jeez. moment that i could think of wow i you know it's funny i i can't really think of anything that's that good you know, like I, I don't know. You know, because like the job, the jobs I worked, you didn't really have to MacGyver much. You know, I mean, aside right. from you know, like when we used to fix videotapes or whatever. You know, you'd have to kind of be a goddamn surgeon. Yeah, you know, like that or yeah, man, I I don't know. I was trying to think of anything. I can't really well, like, like you did. You did so much stuff for like your family on the road, though. Right? I know, I, and I know that's what I'm trying to think of. Is I can't really think yeah. of anything, but I'm sure there's tons of stories I'm forgetting. You know, yeah, it's usually how it goes, right? Because the one motorhome we had, dude, every trip we took, something <laughs> happened. So it was held you know, together by duct tape, bubble gum, and a prayer, dude. It's yeah. It really was like my parents referred to it as the like, oh, no, not again. Like if we had to name it, that's what it would have been named because uh, the, that would have been great to get stenciled all on the back of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but as, I can't think of anything, though, off the top of my head. Um, man, I feel bad because, you know, I can't think of it. You know what? Maybe I'll have to talk to my brother and my mom and see if I can come up with something for next week, you know, and come back yeah, with something. We, do a salty follow up. Because seriously, like the only thing that like pops into my head is, and it's so terrible, is, you know, like, <laughs> you know, when I was at my dad's shop and, you know, we basically would just, uh, you know, fix uh, okay. wounds with, you know, whatever was around, like masking <laughs> tape and, <laughs> you know, I mean, it oh, was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, the old, uh, <laughs> the old field dressing. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. I, I've definitely done that before, too. Masking tape and paper towels. Right. You know, I mean. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, I, I mean, I've done shit like, you know, stapled a pair of pants together and, you know, just dumb shit like that, but nothing that's like really anything that, you know, it really feels like you're MacGyver, you know. This just feels like, eh, this will work, you know. But not like I well, saved I mean, the day. That, that's kind of a MacGyver thing, though. No, is, it is. Know? But I'm, I'm trying to, like, I know I've done better than that. That's the thing oh, is, I, I just I, can't I think you. of it. I got you. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, a lot of people have, you know, used paper clips and different stuff as, as, uh, you know, pants fasteners or what have you. But, um. Damn. Yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. And like I said, I'm sure I have because whether it was something to help with like our motor home or if it was something that was more like you did, which was to get away with doing something you shouldn't have been doing. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, there was plenty of those things done at jobs. I just can't think of any for some reason. So right. sorry to everyone listening. I don't, I don't have a great answer for you, but well, I mean, the it, field dressing here, thing, Brian. I, I have seen plenty of things with like and when you may talk about field dressings, like I've done quite a bit of fixing of cuts and wounds that, <laughs> Oh yeah. You know, 
so uh there's that but you know yeah i'm i'm with you on that one i yeah. oh geez i just stepped on my dog um i mean that's like i've yeah there's so many times at different jobs you're like ow where's the band-aid i don't know just hand me that fucking paper towel <laughs> yeah hand yeah. me that roll tape i'm yep, good exactly you know yeah. or do we have some super glue here to kind of put some skin oh, back yeah. together yeah yeah i actually uh when i worked in the kitchen i, I kept uh until i bought a a thing of liquid band-aid i had yeah. super glue in my bag because i yeah. cut my fingers so often yep i saw my dad do it one time when he had his his body shop and he he got a fairly deep cut and he just took uh you know cleaned it out real good and then took the you know the uh super glue that he had there and kind of put it back together and wrapped it with the <laughs> the paper towel and I masking mean, tape it, it you know, works when it went into the hospital you know a little while later and, you know, they, they threw a couple stitches in it, but it was pretty much, that's all they would do is, like you said, they use that liquid Band-Aid stuff, which is, you know, basically, it's a glue. So it's, it's, it's basically super glue. It really yeah. is. Yeah. You know, you just have to make sure you clean it out real, real well first. And he did, he had a, you know, he flushed it out real good with water and everything and whatever. It's like, I think that the only difference between super glue and liquid Band-Aid is I think liquid Band-Aid has antiseptic in it. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. yeah, which like now I keep shit like this stuff called uh, called New Skin around, which oh yeah, I actually got because of my days bowling because I used. Yeah, you know it's funny. Huh? Is it looks like it's an unwanted sponsor because of you have your background blurred and it yeah. blurred out the label for some. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. No, it yeah. was um, but I, when I bowled, I used to get um, like it the ball would rub on my thumb and sometimes it would um. Uh, kind of uh blister so if it would do that i would use that new skin and you know when you have an open wound it burns like fire but it's got an antiseptic in it and it you know and it promotes healing and stuff so you know sometimes i would just slap a couple coats of that on there and it would just kind of make it then because before that was available in stores like my dad used to have the same problem and he used to just he would have clear nail polish and he would just put a little clear nail polish right on his the skin of his thumb to protect it yeah so you know those kind of things but macgyver shit yeah it is like i said it's low level macgyver shit but it's still macgyver shit you know that's no that's definitely macgyver shit i i can't wait to hear other people's macgyver shit because i'm really hoping for like big scale shit you know like you took a toothpick and a paper clip and like a paper cup and created like a nuclear warhead or something you know well, well i mean i remember <laughs> i'll do another one uh when i was working at metzger's i you know would pack my lunch every day and, and i forgot a goddamn fork yeah so i remember i took a, a pen and paper clips and made a fork because <laughs> i was starving <laughs> most people would just use their hands but i like that you were like no i need to still be civil <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't remember what I was eating, but it was something I didn't want to eat in my hands. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, yeah. Good times. I love that. <laughs> yeah, because, like, the yeah, places. It was, like, one of those things where I was out in the middle of nowhere. Because, like, if I was in the city, I would just go to, like, a Wendy's or a gas yeah, station just go or something. Grab a you know? fork. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I was out in the middle of <laughs> Oh my god, my dog just ripped ass under me. And it is, I feel like I just got hit by, it. like, whoa. God damn it, well, I'm outdoors even. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bomber. Well, now you know why she got that name. No. <laughs> Very appropriately named. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> that was all the fu- all those fireworks. That's finally the fear squeaking out of her ass. Yeah, probably, and that's what it was. Yeah. Yep. Jeez. That's rough. Yeah, that's what no one knows is that all those sounds like fireworks, those are just your dog ripping ass the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny is it's now officially dark. Yep. And it stopped. I still hear like, a little a, bit, but there's little not... there's little pops, but they're pretty far away. Yeah, it's funny, but, isn't but it? But like the ones that were like broadcasting color and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they gotta go to work early too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe you know what? You might be right. <laughs> might People be going why. back to work tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow around nine o'clock you'll hear them again, but <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Like, honey, Assholes. I need you to take the trash out. Be like, I got to go shoot these fireworks off. <laughs> yeah, like, hold on. We still got a case of fireworks, and it's daylight. We got to get going on We got to hurry up. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. So there you go. So, you know, the Q of the W is what is your most MacGyver moment? 
Show us what you got. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess, uh, you know, as usual, head on over to Salty Language, click all the links, check out the past episodes. Um, you can check out the network we're part of, the Tangent Bound Network. Um, and used to be Danger, <laughs> motherfucker. Watch your back. Danger. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Not anymore, though. And yeah, you know who I miss, Brian? Who's that? I miss Mark from the Tangent Bound Network. You said that last week. I, I'm going to say it every week until he <laughs> talks to us. You know, you could just talk to him instead. I mean, I could, but that's funnier this way. Yeah, that's true. I agree. This is our test to see if he listens to the Ooh, show. Ooh, I like it. I like oh, it. shit, son. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, if you want to reach out to the show, you can find us on Twitter at Salty underscore Language. You can find me at Stunami. Uh, you can find me at Monotony. Uh, you're probably better off, though. I'm, hit me up on any Instagrams at the Monotony. And, uh, of course, Salty Language is on Snapchat. We're on Facebook. We're on the Twitters. We're on the Instas. We're on the YouTubes. All our links are at SaltyLanguage.com. Yep. Uh, check it out. There you go. All right. Well, I guess with all that, uh, until next week, have a beer. You'll be fine. Uh, stay salty. And... Um, don't don't forget to use mascara on your ass lashes. <laughs> I mean, you gotta get them some sexy ass lashes. Right, you gotta plump plump eyelashes around your ass. Plump. That's <laughs> or ass I'm lashes. For. I'm sorry. Plump, plump ass yeah. lashes. Yeah. Do you, do you think someone puts falsies on? <laughs> Boy, that that it it's weird because you know there's people who shave slash wax their asshole. So this right. would be going the opposite way, I guess. But that would be. It's a new fashion trend. Right? I mean, you know, anal's about to happen, and they're like, hold on. You know, they got to reach back, pull the falsies off, because, you know. Yeah, let me, let me put these on the bed stand. Right. <laughs> that could get embarrassing otherwise, you know. Oh, for sure. For I mean, sure. maybe not. You pull, you know, a person pulls pulls the old uh, dickaroo back, and it's got false eyelashes on it. You have a little puppet show. Everybody gets a laugh. You know, it's a good time for all. Yeah. You know? Gets all tangled up in the pubis like Velcro. <laughs> All right, that might have been too far. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was goddamn silly at the end there. Yep.